I do appreciate John showing up. <laughs> um, and I do appreciate the number of slides he did since, you know, earlier he was leading on to, I had no slides. Uh, I also, there, there, I don't know, did you notice the slide in the middle where he's like, I got this like, really great timeline and there's like this, this path of through time, what C++ looks like. And right here, it said, modern C++. And then he had them like numbered based upon like C++ 11, C++ 14, C++ 17. And he was like, he's hopeful, C++ 20. You, I, I think you actually, you just kind of claimed that right there is modern. It was amazing. So I happen to know that in this audience, we, uh, we have at least one person who stand, studied anthropology. And uh, there might be other people in here who have too, uh, which is going to maybe play in and help us out a little bit. Because, you know, so modern things, when I teach about C++, one of the things I like to talk about and remind people is modern rock. How many people here know what modern rock is? Yeah, okay, so maybe I'm dating myself, but there are a few of you who know. Look, modern rock was big hair. It was, you know, it was things like, you know, notorious stuff. Modern rock occurred at a certain era in the 80s. And it moved on a little bit into the 90s, but that was the modern rock. And you know what? Some of the bands were pretty amazing. They started in the 80s, and they continued on. They kept putting albums out into the 90s. And then, like, in the mid-90s, they started using a different word called alternative. Alternative. So they realized that we've moved from modern into alternative. In fact, um, you know, even in 2012, they didn't say they were putting out modern rock anymore because modern rock, it was frozen. It's something that occurred. It has a label to it. And, you know, we don't call rock that comes out today modern rock. That refers to something that came out in the 80s. That was modern rock. So we use alternative or, you know, like triple A. Those are the types of things you might say. But, you know, modern C++, somebody gave it a title already. It already exists. We don't have to, like, rename it. It's like an age. So we just have to come up with a different name for what we do today. So this, like, there's a bunch of techniques. It doesn't necessarily include lambdas, right? These were techniques of how to program. And this, we got a name for it. Somebody named it. It was pretty awesome. It would be cruel and mean to Andre to steal his name and to bring it over to something else. I mean, Herb does it all the time. Have you heard him speak? Modern C++. Just he's talking like a new compiler. That's not modern. All right, so modern C++, it already occurred. Let's figure out a name, all right? So, we're really into functional things, it seems, these days. So maybe functional. But anybody who's a functional programmer would say, mm, no, not exactly. <laughs> almost functional. But I think this has some marketing problems. So we probably can't call our language <laughs> almost functional. Maybe nearly functional. <laughs> maybe not nearly functional either. Maybe that will not work either. Uh, Want to be functional? <laughs> I think the whole functional thing, if you're going to have anything else in front of functional, you just shouldn't do it. So well, we're going to have to drop functional. But look, this is like interesting, late modern, oh, postmodern. Uh, we can kind of like figure out through this map of time maybe where we lie. Uh, after the postmodern thing, I don't think I want the language to be associated with postmodern, right? <laughs> this is going to be a problem too. Uh, um, uh, contemporary, some people call like the current time contemporary, right? Contemporary, that might work. But uh, if this is postmodern, and this is the Cold War, and this is the 90s, I can pretty much tell you uh, modern C++ had to be around here. Well, I don't know. We're, we're way past that. We're somewhere else. We can't just like steal that name and keep using it, John. So it ends up, Twitter. I tweeted something a little while ago. We need to just come up with a different name. Be unique. Don't be like John trying to steal Andre's name. <laughs> that is just so cruel. All right? Okay, so go on a Twitter and come up with another name. Thank you very much. <laughs>